Founded in 1973, the Sugarloaf Citizens Association plays an essential part in the preservation of the Montgomery County Agricultural Reserve. This association gives a voice to the local farmers there who would otherwise find it difficult to fight against the large-scale development of the area. Well, from the beginning, the, uh, the major threat was what were called LULUs at the time, lar an acronym, Large Unwanted Land Uses, and they were public facilities like Pepco being a pseudo-public and the incinerator and the landfill and the compost facility and the sludge facility, etc. Large public facilities that people uh, who live in the populated parts need but are unwilling to um, admit that they need enough to have them in their midst. And because there are few votes, <clears throat> relatively few votes out here, it's an easy thing for a government official to do. The things about the Ag Reserve is that if you look across Virginia, uh, in comparison to the Ag Reserve, the Ag Reserve obviously is thousands of acres, uh, 90,000 acres of, of pristine farmland for the most part. You look over to Virginia, right across the Potomac, and it's nothing but buildings and apartment, apartments and, and industrial development. The kind of sugar loaf that you've heard about from some of today's leaders is very different back then. We had no place to meet like this wonderful meeting hall here today. Uh, we would meet in private homes. There were usually eight or nine of us maximum, but there weren't many of us. Um, and uh, But we were dedicated. I think that's one of the things that distinguishes sugar loaf so much from other organizations is that we will sue you. We'll take you to court. Uh, we will... Um, uh, raise money to help join other lawsuits that we think have merit and um, that's that sets us apart a lot of organizations will will oppose things but we will actually litigate against you every acre of farmland that we can save we need to save because this is the future of food this is where food security exists. I'd like to think that at least we've made people aware of the value of this open space. And we had a feeling at one point that there really was no appreciation in the rest of the county for the value of the open spaces and the agricultural um, business that goes out on out here. And we feel like we at least change some attitudes um, and some people feel like they better understand what we value out here. You ask some of the other people what are the major battles that we see going forward. We have those that we're fighting now and those that we see in the future. The biggest one in long term is the highway that Virginia is so intent on seeing built through here. It goes by various names, but it's really just a way of um, <clears throat> furthering Virginia business interests and providing a sort of dagger into the heart of this protected area. And so I think for the future of the Ag Reserve, it's hugely important to make everybody in the county feel vested in success of the Ag Reserve. It's about a place where farming is viable and um, it contributes I think $287 million to the local economy. Um, there are 10,000 people who are employed in the Ag Reserve and there are like over 500 farms. So this is, the Ag Reserve is beautiful and is the green lung of this area and that shouldn't be discounted. But I think it's also important to remind people in the county that it also is one of, um, it's an economic engine for Montgomery County and it's, it's a national model and it's something um, that we should be proud of. My little story is from a long, long time ago, 1974. The first time I went to a Montgomery County Council hearing, and just to give you a sense of how different it was then, 
I didn't have any facts, no figures. They were going to put a huge power line across our backyard. What I had with me was Dr. Seuss's book, The Lorax. And I basically preached to, to them about how we don't need any more thneeds, and the power line is just providing more thneeds. Today, I would have been laughed out of the place. It would have been absurd. At the time, in fact, Montgomery County Council stood up and clapped <laughs> at hearing that maybe we really, really don't need more needs.